There are more than 100 missing people in the state of Tennessee. Many of those cases date back decades. But as the years tick by, many families still hold out hope. And that includes the mother of Charlie Tolliver, who's been missing for 17 years. 10 News reporter Leslie Ackerson has more on his mysterious case in tonight's Appalachian Unsolved. My love for you is deeper than the sea. No words can express what you mean to me. They say a mother's love for her child is like nothing else in the world. He signed it by Charlie and put a smiley face. Yes, I love you, Mom. And anything from her son is a treasure to Constance Tolliver. That was my favorite. This he made when he was in school in kindergarten. He said, Mama, I broke the tail off carrying it home. This is Charlie when he was a baby. These items are now all she has left of him. It was 17 years in February. That was the last time I talked to him. It was on Friday, February the 4th. An adventurous spirit, Charlie Tolliver was a wanderer. And the next thing you know, he would be calling us from Florida. <laughs> he didn't stay gone. He'd always come back. This time was different. In February of 2000, the Tollivers received a phone call from one of Charlie's friends saying he was in danger. They went to the 30-year-old's home in Anderson County in search of him, but found nothing. I think that one or multiple persons have done something very evil. What followed was weeks of conflicting stories, mysterious phone calls, and different addresses. Where Charlie was at the time he disappeared, and this trailer had burned to the ground just months after Charlie disappeared. Now, that throws up huge red flags right there. Detectives never found a solid answer. My mind was it, like on still on a roller coaster. Constance keeps in contact with the National Missing and Unidentified Persons Group, or NamUs, for any signs of Charlie. She also keeps up a Facebook page. Because I remember him every day. I remember him and think about him every day, and I say, how many days has it been? This goes through my mind, and you're not going to forget it. No, no parent would forget. Each day without him doesn't go unnoticed. She says the not knowing is the hardest. At the end of the day, you still have this heartbreak inside. It's a horrible place to live in your mind and in your heart. It's a horrible place to live. Deep down, she wishes the red-haired, blue-eyed boy will walk through her doors again one day. I do hope in my heart, and I know this is what my husband hopes, that Charlie is out there somewhere living his life. Holding on to hope and the things she has left. In your arms, I would fall asleep. Leslie Ackerson, WBIR, 10 News. If this is a dream. She's the best thing that's ever happened to me. If you have any information about this case or any other, you can contact the NamUs National Group or the Anderson County Sheriff's Department at the number on your screen. Even the smallest tip could bring this family some closure.